How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about Google Drive for iOS. Yes, this works with the iPad and the iPhone. You can see I'm running it on my iPhone 4S right now. Let's open it up. This is a free download. Once you open it up, it'll ask you to sign into your Google account, which is obviously how most of the Google apps work. And I'll go ahead and sign in here. All right, now I'm signed in. Let's check out the interface. Basically, you have my drive shared with me, start, recent, offline, etc. So you have the basics there. Then you have a little settings cog. There you can sign out, read the terms of service. And then also, what's really interesting about this is that you can actually purchase up to 25 gigabytes of more storage using an in-app purchase. So Apple is taking a cut of this Google Drive upgrade. So that, that's interesting just to think about that, isn't it? But of course, in my case, as you can see, I don't need any additional space at this time. So we'll just leave that alone for now. Let's check out all the files that I have stored. You can see the different folders. You can see the files. Now, the thing about this is that you can't actually edit anything. So there's no creation of folders. There's no uploading files or changing files. All this is is basically a way to view your files uh, via Google Drive. And of course, if you have a file or an app installed on your device that supports a particular file type, you can open the file in that app. Now let's take a look at some of the individual file settings. By hitting the little right arrow, you'll notice the individual file details. You have the modified date, you can make it available offline, and then you can also share it with other individuals if you choose to do so. If you tap this little button in the bottom left-hand corner, you can rename your file, and also you can change who you're sharing the file with using the share button in the bottom right hand corner. So not too much here really that you can do, although there are some basic things such as sharing and renaming. And you can see that little push pin indicating that I have it offline access enabled. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Google Drive. It's no Dropbox killer by any stretch of the imagination thus yet. But as you can see, it's a solid initial offering from Google. But if you want to do any editing or uploading, you'll have to do that from your desktop instead. Let me know what you think about Google Drive in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.